Hey, good afternoon, everybody. David here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcome back to the workbench. Hopefully, I'm going to get this posted before the 8 o'clock cutoff time. But as of 1.30 this afternoon, Sunday, I completed this Revell 70 Firebird for Craig's uh, channel, Modeler Sponsored Group Build 2022. I take a kit, 48 hours later, have it completed. A um, couple of takeaways I have for this. But I wanted to, as I'm spinning this around, uh, talk about the other kits that I've seen from other builders instead of just talking about mine. Um, there's some variety out there. There's uh, at least one or two that I saw that were building planes. Somebody was building a Gunplay Warrior, which my daughter thought was really cool. Um, looking forward to seeing how that one finished up. Somebody else built, I believe it's, uh, I think they're called Honda Cubs little 50cc motorcycle in metallic green. I thought that was super sweet. Time Machine Models was building a yellow 55 Chevy with flames. I also saw one who was doing a project with his son. He was building two kits, one of a Slammer uh, Concord uh, car and uh, a Jaguar E-Pace, which I like the, the latter one so much, I decided I'm going to go back to my hobby store. I saw that same kit. It's from Airfix. Again, the Jaguar E-Pace. It's an easy click builder kit. It's uh, pre-painted, has stickers, doesn't require any glue, doesn't require any paint. You can put that together pretty quickly. I believe he did paint the body and then his son put the kit together itself, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, it just goes to show you the variety that's out there. Go ahead and search on YouTube for group build or GB 2022 48 hour, however you want to put it in your search, and you're going to come up with several examples. There's even one guy that has a Scirocco that I want to see what his looks like because I always thought the Scirocco and the VW Golfs were pretty sweet cars uh, back when they first came out, and uh, I was really excited to see his because I've not seen that kid out in decades. So, Craig, hats off to you for putting out this challenge. Great job. I uh, hope we can participate in other challenges as the year continues. And uh, just a couple takeaways. The uh, first takeaway I have it is uh, I think the intent should be made perfectly clear to anybody that's interested in doing this. You can, in fact, build a kit in 48 hours. This kit, for me, start to finish, I was done by 1.30 today. I actually spent about an hour and a half on Friday night prepping the parts. I had actually decided not to paint the body. I masked the body. I painted the engine bay flat black. And then I painted the interior uh, blue, much like the interior. So the headliner and everything was blue. And then I cleaned up any overspray from my masking and then sanded the body from uh, 1500 to 12,000 grit, and then uh, polished up really nice, got the decals on, and then decided, you know what, I'll still clear it. So I put a couple coats of Tamiya clear, and it still came out really sharp for an unpainted plastic body. The uh, devil's in the details. I did a lot of paint detailing on this one, but it comes with pad printed tires, so that's definitely a plus. Um, the rims themselves, lend themselves well for paint detailing. I mentioned that in my previous video, how I used silver and Tamiya um, dark iron to um, kind of get into the recesses. The underneath is just simple flat black with some dry brush wear on it. And then of course, the interior was done in a darker blue than Lucerne blue, but what I had on hand, so that's all there is to it. And then, of course, I am glad that I still had that jar of Pontiac engine blue because I really set that off. Ultimately, it turned out to be a great kit. And again, I think the takeaway of it is that uh, you can build a car, or any kit really, in 48 hours, as long as you kind of sit down, see what you got, and then just go for it. So with that, Craig, again, hats off for doing a great challenge. Um, glad to be a part of it. Maybe I can get a challenge for everybody someday. So all in all, it's a great kit. I think I'll pick up at least one, maybe two more of these kits. I'd like to build one in Lucerne Blue with the white interior and the white decals. And uh, it got me thinking about the movie Cannonball, 
where David Carradine's character drove I'm not sure if it was David or if it was Keith but one of the two um, drove the Firebird in that race and it was uh, like a poppy red and it had I think flames or otherwise sponsor decals on it and stuff I think it'd be kind of a cool deal to take this kit and build it like that again relatively box stock build but maybe I see what I can add to it and I think that's the other takeaway from this is that when you see other people building kits it gets you thinking man I could do that same kit and you'll want to go out to the store and buy one um, good example is I saw uh, Zinc built the Marauder I've got the Marauder kit in my stash and it's one of those big engine big body cars so I'm thinking one of these days I'm gonna go on ahead and pull that one down off the shelf and build it because I saw his and I'm like man I'd like to do that too so yeah again this inspires you to build kits that's what we're about I think that's what Craig was trying to put out there as well as far as the challenge is concerned and what it really means so definitely go check out all these videos subscribe the channels and uh, make comments below make comments on theirs as well tell them that they're doing great jobs with their kits because they are and uh, with that, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. We'll catch you in the next video. See you later.